So this operation is really taking those large diameter logs that were removed off a of resident's property and bring them down here where they are turned into a soil amendment uh, called biochar. Working together, we've been able to bring this project to Lake County. We're taking all of the logs that are on the landscape from previous fires and from previous entries by PG&E, and it's all here to be carbonized, turned into biochar. There's a couple of machines you see behind me. One is a Cal Fire air curtain incinerator, or air curtain burner. That machine is intended to take material, burn it down to ash, so it reduces that hazard. The other machine is a Tiger Cat carbonizer. So it's a machine that takes those large diameter logs, uh, burns them, breaks them down, converts them into a charcoal-like substance called biochar. And that material, very nutrient rich, is a carbon sink. So it holds on to carbon or sequesters it into the ground and is very good for soil. So that machine produces that, it drops through a grate, it is dropped into water and cooled, and then it is carried away from the machine with a conveyor belt and picked up and bagged in the white bags you see behind me. It will be available to the public. South Lake Fire, Cal Fire, and Clerk are figuring out the best ways to distribute that to the community. But you'll see big white bags back here. That's all biochar, and that's all gonna be returned to the community if people are interested in using it. This project essentially funds getting all of those dead and dying trees that pg e removed and left on the ground and bringing them here. This is a pilot program that we can utilize to dispose of all that biomass in this location rather than having to truck it out of county or chip it. Oh, those, those aren't really effective ways to dispose of it. We currently don't have a way to dispose of biomass in our county without this pilot project. So we're just trying to find sustainable practices that are also gonna be a mutual benefit to the community and all of our partners. For security and safety, this facility is manned 24 hours a day. They have a fire watch and they also produce a daily incident action plan, which lays out how operations are gonna work, how they're gonna do so safely, how they're gonna work around these machines. And they monitor that with a fire watch at all times when operations are going. So if you're headed outside of town, headed north on Highway 175 out of Middletown, you may see what looks like a large burning container on the side of the road, which is the carbonizer or air curtain burner operating. But be assured that there's a fire watch going on. They have water here to extinguish any kind of ignition if it were to occur outside those treatment boxes, and they're very safe. 70% of Lake County has burned over the last 10 years. We know that this we're going to continue to experience wildfire in Lake County. What we have to do is harden our communities, make them more resilient to wildfires, and also focus on forest health. And getting the biomass off the landscape, off out of the forest and out of the communities makes our communities much safer.